Austin police weren't horsing around. They arrested two men dri for driving while intoxicated on 6th Street, and they were on horses. But now, police have changed their mind. Fox 7's Sarah Talbert joining us live to tell us why they have lowered the charges, Sarah. Well, Mike, it's not illegal to ride a horse here on 6th Street or any street in Austin, but the DWI laws have changed. They changed in October, and they're vague. That's what police say, and that's what led to the arrest of two men for driving while intoxicated on a horse. A cowboy on his horse. It's not an uncommon sight in Texas, but what is uncommon is the sight of two intoxicated cowboys riding down a crowded 6th Street in downtown Austin. Friday night, Austin police stopped Jose Rios and Samuel Olivo Jr., one on a horse, the other on a mule. Police stopped the men because they say they were in the middle of the street urging people to come out into the road to take pictures with them. It was an obvious danger to the public by calling them out in the street. It was an obvious danger to the people themselves because they were drunk on top of an animal that could go anywhere uh, into a car. You can see Samuel Olivo attempting to get off of his horse as police stand by. Immediately they could smell a strong odor of alcohol. Uh, upon investigation, uh, they felt that they were definitely intoxicated. So intoxicated, Olivo was having trouble standing up without falling down. Here, he actually falls into the officer. Did you park your truck somewhere, or where did you park your truck at? The men told police they had parked their horse trailer across the interstate and were planning on driving back home once they had made some money, something that sent a red flag to police. They had every intention of driving a vehicle, especially after that. So that made it obviously more dangerous than just being on 6th Street calling people out. Police arrested the two, charging them with driving while intoxicated. I believe this is the first time I've ever dealt with a DWI and a horse. Two days later, Commander Dusterhoff changed the DWI charges to public intoxication. He says the current law in Texas is just too vague when defining driving while intoxicated on a horse. It has a different statute to it, and it's somewhat ambiguous because it talks about transported or drawn. Uh, so. While we believe the better charge of public intoxication, I can understand why the officer made the arrest for DWI. Austin police say they're urging legislators to pull the reins on the issue and clear up the wording. Everything ended up fine, uh, but uh, I definitely wouldn't recommend riding a horse while intoxicated. Now, the two men were arrested that night. One has since been released. The other has been turned over to INS. Police say it looks like he was here illegally. Now, as for that horse and that mule, they have been taken to the Elgin Veterinary Hospital. I spoke with the people there today. They say they are in good condition, and they're just waiting for the owners to come and pick them up. Police say they don't know if those two men were actually the owners of the horse and the mule. Back to y'all.